All right, let's talk about buspirone. Buspirone is, is a generic name of medication called Buspar. And that's probably how you're going to hear it called is just Buspar. It's really easy to say like that. What this medication is given for is anxiety. The way that it works is it relieves anxiety by binding to dopamine and serotonin receptors. Remember, dopamine and serotonin help impact mood and adjust mood. And so by binding to these receptors of dopamine and serotonin, it thereby affects mood and helps to manage the anxiety within a patient. Therapeutic class is antidepressant and smoking deterrent. Remember also with uh, with bupropion, it was also a uh, smoking deterrent. And these are in the same class of amino ketones. Okay, so these amino ketones work for depression. They work for smoking deterrent. And this boost bar also works specifically for the management of anxiety. So a lot of the things that we're going to try to keep in mind here with Boost Bar are the same things that we're going to keep in mind for Bupropion, okay? Things like don't take concurrently with MAOIs. Remember, when we have these MAOIs and we have this, uh, uh, like the Boost Bar, we want to have about a 14-day window between stopping one and starting the other. We don't want to mix them within the system, okay? You're also going to avoid with grapefruit juice. And what I always tell people, and we're going to talk about this a lot as you listen to this, uh, these episodes, is that... Anytime a patient starts taking a lot of medications, you really just want them to stop drinking grapefruit juice, okay? Grapefruit juice is going to interfere with many medications, and so it's just important to kind of just leave it alone. It can lead to dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue, and weakness, and the patient may experience chest pain, palpitations, or tachycardia, so it's good as they're starting this medication to kind of monitor their uh, cardiovascular system um, and instruct, instruct the patient to take it as directed. What will happen a lot of times with these patients that have anxiety or depression is they'll take the medication for a little bit, they'll start feeling better, and so then they'll stop taking the medication. They'll feel, they'll say, well, I'm, I'm better now. I don't need the medication. And so they'll just stop taking it. Okay. So it's important to let the patient know that they need to continue taking the medication. And the patient needs to avoid it with uh, alcohol and other types of CNS depressants. Okay. And that's really kind of what you need to know about Boost Bar. This has been another episode of the nursing.com MedMaster podcast. My name is John Haas, RN, CCR and alumnus. And I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's five zero nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.